Hey friends, I'm Chris Schufel with Chris in the Classroom and today we're gonna have a little history lesson. You know what's funny? Kids often ask me, where did the word bullying come from? It's so weird, where did it come from? Well, today, let's look at the history of the word bully. The word bully was invented in the 1500s by the Dutch. It's a Dutch word and it originally meant, ready for this? Best friend or loved one. Sounds weird, right? But it's true. If you were walking down the hallway back then with a good friend of yours you and you wanted to introduce them, you would say, hey, this is my best friend. Meet my best friend. This is my bully. My bully, my best friend. It sounds kind of weird, but it also meant like loved one or sweetheart or boo or bae or whatever it's saying nowadays. It also meant like significant other. So you would be like, I bully you. And she would be like, <laughs> I bully you too. Now it stayed that way for about 200 years until the word made its way over to the United States. And then it still meant good things, but now it, it was just expanded a little bit more to mean anything good. So if something good happened, people would say bully and bully for you, meaning good for you, awesome, excellent. And then it stayed that way for about another 200 years. Now fast forward to 1902 with the presidency of Teddy Roosevelt. He started using the word bully like it was going out of style. He would in all of his speeches from the podium shout bully and the crowd of people would shout back bully meaning good, awesome, yes, go get him, we love you. It meant good things. In fact, if you look up books about Teddy Roosevelt and his life, there's so many books about him that are called bully, bully for you. Things to do with the word bully because he used it in such a good way. It meant good things. In fact, he even wanted to call the White House a bully pulpit. Now, I know there's probably some of you out there, the, the White House is still a bully pulpit. I'm not talking about it in that way, okay? But he wanted to call the White House a bully pulpit because he saw the White House as the greatest platform in the world to do the most good. So what happened? Fast forward one more time to 1970 with this guy, Dan Oveas. He was a Norwegian psychological researcher who was commissioned by his government to research social aggression among kids. So he went to playgrounds, he went to schools all over the place and researched how kids interact. What did he find? Surprisingly, he didn't find anything different than what we see today. He found some pushing and shoving. He found name calling. He found teasing. He found rumors. He found exclusion. Hmm, interesting. Nothing different than what we see today, except he wanted to come up with one word to encompass all of these behaviors. He wanted all of these behaviors, all of these things to be under one umbrella. So, what word did he pick? You guessed it, he picked the word bully. And by doing so, he forever changed the meaning of the word. So now, rather than calling a behavior specifically what it is, spreading rumors, pushing and shoving, name calling, teasing, exclusion, instead of calling a behavior specifically what it is, all these things were now encompassed under the umbrella term bully. And that has forever changed the way we look at that word. Fast forward one more time to April 20th, 1999. The Columbine school shootings. Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold felt like victims. They felt bullied. They felt left out. They felt teased. They felt tormented to the point where they felt no other choice but to turn the gun on the people who had ridiculed them and made them feel so low. And that became the birthplace of the modern anti-bullying movement as we know it today. So I get the question a lot of times, Shoof, why is your book called P.S. I Bully You? Why do you sell t-shirts that say I bully you? Well, because I wanna bring it back old school. I wanna bring back the original definition of the word bully. I wanna bring it back to where it means best friend, loved one, respect. I wanna bring it back. So when you tell somebody, hey, I bully you, it means I love you, I respect you, I think you're great. In fact, I got a letter from a guidance counselor recently that said, man, you were here six months ago and kids are still walking around the hallway saying, I bully you. And they're meaning it as in, I love you, I respect you, I think you're a friend. And that is awesome. 
Well, that's it, friends. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hey, if you want us to come and transform your school and completely redo the way your school does bullying, go to chrisintheclassroom.com. chrisintheclassroom.com. Get in touch with us. Hopefully, we have some tour dates left that we can get out to you. We're going all over the country this year. It's amazing. Hope we can get to see you guys. Until next time, class is dismissed. Peace.